Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan. Welcome back to our channel. Today, I'm here with a masterwork break. Once again, this one is a personal break for Boba Fett Me. Thank you so much, Boba Fett, for letting me open up a box of masterwork for you. I love opening up masterwork. It is one of my favorite products every year of Star Wars to open up, just because I think they look super cool. The cards look awesome, and there's a really great potential for awesome hits. Now, you may have been watching for the past couple seconds and be like, hmm, she sounds a bit different. We did get our new microphone on, so I'm still working with the settings to find out what works best but definitely let me know in the comments down below what you think hopefully it will work out very well for us because that will make it much easier to do live videos so i'm excited for that but i am also ready to get right into this box so let's quickly snap me into the corner right now we can get into this box with Ewan McGregor's face on it because he is available as autographs in this product so that'd be super dope to get but Hopefully we will get something awesome. You do get two autographs guaranteed per master box of Masterwork. You can get up to four autographs. It's not that common, but we did get one. And a couple of videos ago, we did open a Masterworks box that had four autographs in it. But you also, the other hits you can get, because you do get one per each of the four mini boxes. You can get like film cells, you can get sketch cards, you can get medallion cards, a bunch of different things. So hopefully we will get some really awesome things. I haven't seen a sketch, well, I did a personal break of Masterwork for myself and got a sketch card, but we have not opened up a sketch from Masterwork for a personal breaker. So hopefully we can get Boba Fett me a sketch today. That would be super awesome. But there's only one way to find out, and that's by cutting into this box right here. And then afterwards I will have to cut into each of the four mini boxes, but that's how it goes. Lots of packaging. And then there's just, you turn one big Obi-Wan into four small Obi-Wans. But let's start, let's start with this box right here. Box number one. Move that a little bit. Hopefully that wasn't too loud. I do have the microphone kind of like right under me at the moment. So right off this playmat down here, right right below Elspeth, who is the uh, character on this playmat from Magic the Gathering. I set the little, little microphone, so hopefully it's picking up good sound. And like I said, definitely let me know in the comments down below what you think. And I will be working, you know, over the next several days to try and find out what works best for us. Now we do have a spoiler, we do have a green parallel of Pow on the back, but oop, I saw it out the edge. It is a blue autograph, so we have an autograph numbered out of 99 in this pack. Let's see who it is. Let's go. First we have a Stormtrooper base card, Kinlan Voss base card. Eh, let's not do slow, slow roll, let's just see it. But we have Katie Cartwheel as Rio Durant, number 57 out of 99 from the Han Solo movie. Autograph on card with, look, a little, little bunch of exclamation points there, but that's cool. It's a very nice autograph. I've seen her autos before. She did have in the Skywalker Saga product, I think was her first autograph. But that actually, I don't think I've seen one like this. That looks really nice with the big Ks. So that is cool. That is our first hit of the box and our first of at least two autos. Katie Cartwheel as Rio Durant. And then we have a base Defining Moments insert of Vice Admiral Holdo, DM number 24. And as I mentioned before, the spoiler, but a green pal parallel. Card number 88. 91 of 99. Alright, time for mini box number two. Make sure I am recording. Yes, of course. I always get... There was one time I didn't press the record button. It was when we still had the face and the card cam separated, so it only just didn't record my face. But now that we do record everything, even the volume in OBS Studio, I'm always like, let me make sure it's recording. But everything looks good. So it is time for pack number two. What have we got in here? Looks like we have something skinny. Perhaps it is a film cell. Let's start off. Looks like it is some type of film cell, which are all considered one ones but there are multiple of each. Oh, look, there's Rio. We just saw Rio last pack. But we have, you have received, you have found a film cell from the classic Star Wars trilogy and it is FC DV5. So it is a Darth Vader film cell. That looks cool. Let's see if I hold it over. Oh, that looks really awesome. You have, it looks like, well, let me see. Yep, hard to see, but Luke versus Vader in the hallway. And then Vader, um, it is, the bottom one's a little bit cut diagonally, but still looks really cool. Let me raise it up. But you have Luke versus Vader on top, and then Darth Vader and some snow troopers on the bottom. Definitely cool. I know not everyone's favorite hit is the film up, but I think they look cool. Wish they were just taken a little better care of this year. The 2017 ones I think were very nice, but this year some of them are cut like this because they are, I think, hand cut, which is a bit unfortunate, but still really cool looking nonetheless. That is Film Cell DV5 for Darth Vader 5. So I'm assuming it is just Empire. 
for that's what the five is for for Empire Strikes Back. So that is our second hit of the box. Next up, we have Defining Moments Boba Fett. That is Defining Moments number six, and a blue parallel non-numbered of Kylo Ren. That's card number forty-two. Mini box number three coming right up. Another skinny card here, so this will be either an autograph or a sketch. Let's see what it is. We have Resistance Soldier, Death Trooper, and we have, I believe it'll be an autograph. Let's see. In the bottom, it is not numbered. It is Myrna Velasco as Tora Doza from Star Wars Resistance on card. Just a base autograph of Tora. Very centered autograph, actually. That is autograph MV for Myrna Velasco. As I've said before, I haven't watched Resistance personally. I've heard good things about it, so not familiar, too familiar with this character, but I know there are several people who love to collect her. Next up, we have the Dark Side insert of Kylo Ren DS number 5, and a blue, non-numbered parallel of Captain Cassian Andor. Last mini box of this master box of Masterwork. We've already gotten two autographs, so perhaps this is another. Could be, I mean, technically it could be another film, so it could be a sketch card, could be another autograph. Doesn't feel too heavy, which is why I'm not saying medallion. I mean, hey, maybe it could be a medallion. I don't think so, though. Be awesome if it was a sketch. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's see. The pack doesn't feel like there's anything funky going on in it for it to be like a, a booklet sketch or anything, but let's see what we got here. Ooh, yes, it is a sketch. Hmm. wonder who it is. There's a little bit of green. Maybe it's Yoda. But let's see. I'm going to flip it over once we get to that. We don't get any spoilers, but we have a rainbow foil. Defining moments. Emperor Palpatine. Then let's go from the back. We have a non-numbered, I'm assuming blue, Darth Maul. Yes. There we go. We have a blue Darth Maul right there. We have HR-14. Here is the Rebellion. Admiral Raddus. Let's see who the artist is. We have a John Bruce sketch. Let's see. Who will it be? Do, do, do. Flip it back over. And it is a Mutt Trooper, I believe, from the Han Solo movie. But that is really cool looking. Very nice colors, very crisp lines. I like that a lot. That's awesome. John Bruce Mud Trooper. And if I'm wrong, because I am not uh, big into troopers, I, I may be wrong. I believe it is a mud trooper, though. Definitely let me know in the comments down below. But congratulations to Boba Fett me. It is unfortunately not a Boba Fett sketch for you, but still a very beautiful sketch, nonetheless, by the artist John Bruce. And my hand When I hold the cards only with one hand, my hand starts to shake. I don't, I don't know what its problem is. But that is really awesome. I love that green color. That is actually the olive green is like my favorite color. So yeah, those are all of our hits for our... Master box of Obi Wan Kenobi Masterworks. But it's just four hits, but let's do a recap anyways because I cannot control myself. But we did get, I'll start with the film cell just so that way it's not like look at the sketch that you just looked at. But um, probably shouldn't have taken away that box. Let me put it over the back of a, a card. But we have the film cell with Luke and Vader and some more Vader, Darth Vader number five. That's actually a really cool looking film cell. I like that a lot. Then for our autographs, we had on-card base auto of Myrna Velasco as Toradoza from Star Wars Resistance. As I said, base auto, non-numbered. We also did get a on-card autograph of Katie Cartwheel from the Han Solo movie. That is blue parallel, numbered out of 99, 57 of 99. And of course, we got this beautiful Mud Trooper John Bruce sketch. One of one, on-card, of course. I mean, obviously. Some people do ask, like, are all sketches one of one? It's like, yes, they're all handmade. Tops used to, a long time ago, encourage, you know, hey artists, if you wanted to put the same image multiple times, you could do that. Not, They don't do that anymore, I don't think they want all of them to be different. But even so, those are still one-on-ones, because I mean, each one was hand-drawn. But definitely a very nice sketch. Cool, cool hit. Well, that is, oh, well, you know what, let me just go over these two. Can't, can't help it. We have the Rainbow Foil Emperor Palpatine out of $2.99. Number 169 out of 299 to be exact. Non-numbered blue base parallel of Darth Maul. Same as with Cassian Andor. Kylo Ren. And then one green parallel. We have Pal from Rogue One. 
numbered out of 99, 91 of 99. So that is it for this box of Masterworks for Boba Fett Me. Congratulations, you did receive a sketch card, which is super awesome. Love opening up sketch cards, because even if you get a sketch, it's like, okay, I got a sketch, but you never know what it's going to be, which is super cool. Love that, love that sketch, love that green. Love that. I love the Han Solo movie as well. I know not everyone did, but I thought it was really fun. So I hope Boba Fett Me, you enjoyed it too, and you were very happy with the sketch, because I think this box ended up very well. I'm always a bit nervous opening up this year's Masterwork because there is potential for really awesome cards, but there are also a lot of boxes that are not the best, so I'm always excited when we get super good hits for all of our personal breakers, and of course for myself and for the shop. Just want to open up good cards all around, so I was excited about that. But again, thank you so much Boba Fett Me for letting me open up this box of Masterworks for you. I really hope you enjoyed it. And thank you to all of you out there who are watching this video as well. You might have noticed we did hit 1,000 subscribers last weekend, which is super awesome. And definitely, you may notice we have started getting some ads on our videos, so you know, that's cool. That's very good news as well. But with that, let me get all this cleaned up because I am, I mean, by the time you see this video, it will have already happened, but I do plan on doing a live video today. I think I can do multi-streaming at the same time on different platforms, but I think I will just be doing it in the top Star Wars collectible card traders group and then uploading it here on YouTube so you can see the results of that live just as a practice to, you know, in a more chill environment where, you know, I'm just unboxing something super cool. So definitely check that video out when it is available later. But thank you so much for watching. I'm, I'm really glad to be here opening up cards every day. Well, not every day, but... Every time I'm in the shop, I do get to open up cards, either for us or for you guys, and that is, I mean, that's just the best. So, super awesome, very cool box here of Masterworks that I was so happy to be able to open, especially on camera, for everyone else out there to see. So thank you again to Boba Fett Me, and I will catch you all later. So take care, and stay tuned, because I will be back. Bye!